live where news comes first. This is ABC7 with breaking news. Good evening and thank you for joining us for ABC 7 at 6. I'm Eric Elkin. And I'm Stephanie Valle. We begin with the latest on the deadly fire inside a Juarez detention facility for migrants. Mexican officials say at least 40 people died. 28 others were injured. Officials say all of the victims are men from South and Central America. ABC 7 obtaining new video from inside the facility where the fire, when the fire started. In this video, you can see some of the migrants trying to kick the door open as guards are seen scrambling and ultimately running away. The flames quickly spreading and the facility beginning to fill with smoke. A migrant can be seen at the door trying to get it open before that smoke then right here just completely covers the entire field of view. And migrant advocates in Juarez are now speaking out after this tragic event last night. Today, they organized a mass to remember those 40 migrants who lost their lives and the 28 who are injured. ABC 7's Eddie Perez was also at the mass for the migrants and joins us live from Juarez with more details. Eddie. Stephanie, these migrant advocates in Juarez, besides being sad, they are now looking for answers after Monday's tragedy. They still believe it was something they were already expecting to happen. Father Javier Calvillo says this tragedy is something he saw coming. He added since the Venezuelan migrants arrived at the border, there has been tension between them and Mexican authorities. Now, after Monday night's tragedy, they want something to be done because they think it's not fair. Mexican authorities say migrants set up mattresses in fire at the cells they were inside of this building. But for migrant advocates like Father Calvillo, those claims don't add up. He says it is sad to think authorities wanted to clean the city by taking migrants out of it. Now he says this will give a bad and inhumane image to the city and the border. Other migrant advocates along Father Calvillo organized a mass at the Juarez Cathedral to remember the 40 lives that were lost. They remembered them with other people holding flags and praying for them and the ones injured. But for them, this isn't over. Hay que investigar, hay que más. He thinks more needs to be investigated and pressure Mexican authorities. Vemos aquí que realmente no hay una política migratoria este, clara. Father Calvillo adds, Mexico doesn't have a clear migratory policy and it needs to change. And we will have more reactions from these migrant advocates in Juarez, plus more updates from Mexican authorities. That's tonight on ABC 7 at 10, but for right now, reporting live in Ciudad Juarez, Heriberto Perez, ABC 7. And El Paso Mayor is uh, reacting to the tragedy, saying, quote, Mayor Oscar Leeser saying, we are very saddened to learn of the tragedy that unfolded in Ciudad Juarez. We are one region. Juarez is our sister city, and we are family. We extend our deepest condolences to the families of those lost in the fire. I have reached out to Mayor Cruz Perez Cuellar, and our team at this time is communicating with their counterparts to determine in which way we can best be of assistance. Migrants across Juarez say the version Mexican authorities are releasing to the public may not be accurate and they are demanding answers. ABC 7 Soul Science spoke with one woman who believes two of her friends perished in that fiery inferno. He joins us live now from Juarez. Saul. Hey, so Stephanie and Eric, I want you to appreciate the sheer number of migrants who are gathering right here inside that building where all those migrants died. They're lining both sides of the street, then gathering right here in front of the building in a makeshift memorial. And as you said, many of the migrants are demanding answers. And I spoke to that one woman who believes two of the men that she traveled with from Venezuela to right here died inside this building. Evely Medina says she is in a state of shock and still cannot believe two men she traveled with from Venezuela could very well be victims of the fiery inferno. She says those fellow migrants were taken into custody as part of an immigration raid in Ciudad Juarez and brought here. After hearing of the fire, she returned last night to see if they needed help, where she discovered where bodies laid out in front of the parking lot of the building where signs of the fire that raged last night can still be seen the fire that raged through this building, killing possibly 40 people inside. She says it was extremely terrorizing to see because what was lost was not something material, but that human lives were lost. Fathers, husbands, family members, everything. Medina, 
along with other migrants who made their way from different parts of South and Central America, are now waiting for answers, waiting for the names of the dead to be released, waiting for answers on how this tragedy could have unfolded. She says what we want to know now is if immigration officials will come out and tell us who died in that fire and who survived. And Melina tells me that once those names are released, the insurmountable task of retrieving those bodies and then transporting them to their countries of origin begins. It's an insurmountable task because a lot of people here don't have money either here in Ciudad Juarez or their countries of origin. They say they're right here and in their countries of origin barely have enough money to eat. We're live in Ciudad Juarez. Saul Sainz, ABC7. All right, Saul.